Hey, GPS Kevin here. I'm going to show you how to make track logs in a Google Maps. Um, this is hand create, draw point by point track logs and manipulate them. Uh, so I have a typical Google Map here that I've put together and I just want to go over sort of quick outlines. This map consists of waypoints and then track logs for each different day. There's seven days of track logs along with the one section of waypoints makes for eight sections um, and we get to have a total of 10 sections in these in these uh, free version of Google Maps. But anyway, so you can turn these off and on. For instance, the waypoints off and aren't displayed. And I'm going to create a track log on day one. So I'm going to just make it easy on ourselves and turn all the other days off. So we're only displaying day one here in our maps. Okay, you have day one, and also you could have a choice of base maps that you change here. For instance, there's the normal street map, but I'm going to keep the base map as satellites. Okay, so on day one, we're going to come in here and we're going to create a track log near Oatman, right? And what I notice here is really we could possibly cut this corner. I'm not saying this would be legal in this area. I'm just using this as an example. And we could make a track log where you follow this sand wash up and cut here. So the way I do that is I make sure I want it to arrive in day one. I make sure day one is highlighted here. That means this blue bar is on. So we're in the editing field of day one. And we're going to come over here and we're going to add a line or a shape. Now I'm going to start by right about here and then I'm going to click here, here, here. I could zoom way in and click in great deal if I like. Um, here, here, here. Or I can zoom out. And the way I do it then is I double click to end the line. And I can also notice if I go down here it 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 drags it up. I go up here, it drags it down. I go over here, it does this. Anyway, so that's how I manipulate the map around. I can also do that with the cursors on my keyboard. For instance, now I'm using the cursor on my keyboard, holding it down. Anyway, I'm going to come over here, here, and we're going to end right here. And I double click to end. We're going to say line 5. That's fine. I'm going to actually say save. You can edit its name by saying edit, and we're going to call it sandwash. Uh, okay, save. Um, but now notice it's really not very high quality and not what I wanted. So the first thing I can do is come over here and I can click on the line. Hello. Sometimes it's a little hard to click. I'm having lots of trouble clicking. I'm going to click over here for a minute. Collect, correct. So the line is highlighted. I'm going to go to the end point of the line, put my thing on, and then I'm going to right click. And here is my options. I can delete that point or I can extend the line. I'm going to say extend the line, and then I'm going to have it come over to here. I'm going to double click again to finish the line, right? Okay, it's happy with that. But now I notice, you know, it's really not very high quality. So I'm going to manipulate some of these points. I'm going to drag that point to there. Um, notice how this one is a kind of a softer point than this one. It's really an intermediate point. I'm going to actually drag that in the middle. That kind of creates a new point. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say, well, we really wanted to be on this side over here. We're going to shape or go around this way. And really, I should be more in the center of the wash there. And so you can go along and really tune up your line and have it be as nice as you like here. And you can say, oh, let's see, I should make a dramatic corner here. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to say extend line and I'm gonna make a corner. That way you can see that we're turning off and I'll double click there. Okay. And so there is a track log. When you get it all perfect and done, you can say, oh, well, look, I should drag that one over there a little more. Um, this is probably better over here. You can spend as much time as you like making it. I guess I don't want to be in the bushes over there. 
that sort of thing and it's done but now let's go back over here and we can choose some parameters about it like its style well I like using red to say it's one of my harder options so I'm going to come up here and choose this red and I like my lines a little bit fatter so I'm gonna just put it to that point and um, there you go so now it is a sand wash in this in this option uh, as a red um, that's it enjoy